morning and welcome to the Reefing Medic. I'll be your host, Chad Oliver. Uh, yes, I am a paramedic, as the name would imply. And this is just kind of uh, what I figured I would do and show everybody uh, about my tank and my experiences with it. <clears throat> uh, I work night shift, so I will be doing videos mostly probably during the day. Um, because of that, I feel that I have a, a little bit of a different approach uh, to some things. Because some days I really only have about three or four hours of time with uh, the tank and its inhabitants, as you see them, uh, because of my schedule. So I rely really heavy on automation. Uh, maybe not more than others, but I, I rely on it really. <clears throat> So the channel is going to be mostly going through my day-to-day -day experiences with what I do with the tank. Uh, as you can see, we're going through a wee bit of an ugly phase right now. The tank was set up in June, so it's only, it's only four months old. So it's, it's still very much so a baby uh, in terms of, of age. Uh, a couple segments we'll do is uh, one will be called life support, which will go over all of the different um, life support functions of each of the pieces of equipment to kind of break down what they're used for, what they do to help that, that new reefer out and get started in the right direction. I've been in the hobby for about five or six years, uh, and I've relied heavily on YouTube uh, between bulk reef supply Mark Levinson at Melod's Reef, and a, a whole slew of other people, uh, Inappropriate Reefer, uh, Fish of Hex, uh, the, those you know, big, <laughs> big name, big you know, people <clears throat> to learn how to do all of this. And this was an experience. Um, I didn't fully realize how big the tank was until uh, they they put it actually in here onto the stand um, and uh, when I saw it I said holy crap <laughs> that's that's a lot of tank you know um, but we'll have fun we'll do some uh, some simpler things where it's literally just spending some time with the fish uh, and getting to know them as their personalities develop and uh, and just having a relaxing time really. We're not going to do anything super crazy because I there's a lot that needs to be done. I really need to vacuum out the uh, the sand to try and deal with some of that detritus and algae growth on the sand. <clears throat> but otherwise, it'll just be a nice easy time. We'll go over some some items, some info, and just spend some time with the fish, which is really what I like to do. So I hope you'll join me on this journey, and I'll see you in the next video.